hello everyone. My name is Milica and this is Stefan. We are a game making duo from Serbia and we call ourselves Dikobot. We will talk about our um, experience of making a game called Super Sub Hero. Um, Super Sub Hero is a puzzle platformer. It has unusual mechanics. Um, it has a wintry atmosphere and a laid back kind of feel to it. Uh, but what we started with six months before its release was nothing like what you're about to see now. We came up with a um, little ballet dancer who was hopping around and doing silly jumps. So it was kind of funny, but uh, even though our concept changed drastically, we, uh, we remained true to our uh, beginning uh, goals. And our goals were to create a uh, pleasant atmosphere for the players as they play the game, just to, for players to relax, but uh, they still had to really use their brains to, to solve some of the puzzles. Uh, so before uh, we go deeper into the developer pro process, I'll show you how the game looks like, so you can see it. You already saw the beginning. <laughs> Hello everyone. Uh, I'm first of all. I'm gonna tell you something about. Um, just a second. Okay. Let's go as well. Ah. Something about our inspiration um, while we were making this game. Uh, we came across a game called Midas, the True Weight of Gold, and uh, we were. What we liked about that game, it, it's, uh, it's simplistic concept, uh, unique mechanics, and the fact that it was based on a well-known myth, actually. Um, the King Midas, uh, the legend of King Midas, um, who had a golden touch, everything he, he touched turned it to, into gold. So they made um, their whole, their, their whole uh, mechanics were based on that meat and we thought that that was pretty cool so we kind of tried to make something similar uh, and then we exposed ourselves to um, all the different forms of art uh, for example different stories different music um, and came, we came across um, a classical ballet piece uh, Swan Lake um, and uh, we wanted to make our main character to be uh, a prince from the from the from the Swan Lake. So we kind of we we make it we we made it um, as a we we thought it would it would be funny if we put it as a. Um, Ballet dancer, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so it would be funny if we, if he could, I don't know, walk like a 
ballet guy and jump do do the silly jumps and stuff like that, stuff like that so <clears throat> um and then uh, our goal was to make a puzzle game with uh, storytelling and some unique mechanics and uh, a little bit of humor so we had most of the stuff but we we didn't had uh, our uh, unique mechanics yet so we we started experimenting and then we came uh, with our uh, core mechanic of the game which were um, the main character has an ability to alter the physical state of water so he can turn uh, water into ice and vice versa so that we, we realized that uh, we started playing with that and we realized that we can make a dozen of mind-bending puzzles around that that simple mechanic so but then we, we when we had that mechanic uh, we realized that it doesn't have to do anything with the original with the original idea of having the uh, ballet dancer so we had to decide which way to go what what thing do we want to keep so uh, we didn't quite know um, what are we going to do with the ballet dancer. I think uh, it was it was funny to see him maybe to uh, when he jumps once or twice. But seeing that seeing him jumps um, for an hour, it, it it's not funny anymore. So we decided to keep the mechanics and build the game out of it. So. Then we started to changing everything, changing the design, improving the gameplay. Um, we also add, added some um, enemies after. Um, but then uh, we thought it's almost over, but um, we we lost our creativity after a four months of development. Um, we just didn't know how to uh, how to design more levels. So we that was the time to make a break. And um, but we we make a, we we had to make a break from doing this thing, but. Uh, we were broke at this point, so we had to make um, another small game just to fund the rest of the project. Um, after a month of development that other game, uh, we came back to Super Sub Hero with new idea, with new <coughs> ideas. So we started working on it as hard as possible and um, we started understanding the need for uh, taking a break uh, when you when you when you do something you, you can't just uh, <coughs> quit everything else and do do that you, you have to make a break and let the the subconscious do the do its thing um so that's that's what we learned from from this project uh now the game is released uh, for 10 days maybe so it's a fresh new game um and uh the reactions are good not not great but good actually most of the people are complaining about uh about the difficulty it's a lot it's it's a really really hard puzzle game so um, you should make our levels um, much easier 
first few levels should be much easier for the players. Uh, you know, most of the players think that uh, the game is not finished or it lacks something. So, let's, oh, it's over. Um, so, for the questions, you can visit ticklebot.net and shoot us uh, an email. That's it. That's it.